Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to Tesla vs. Lovecraft. When we last left off, we beat the first boss, and now we're ready to keep on keeping on, get the fight going even more, blow up some bad guys here. Assuming I can actually hit them, mind you, which apparently is at some points beyond my actual ability. Oh dear, that was not a good time to lose our lose our mech when they're actually actually finally starting to whoa boy when they're actually finally starting to pose a fret get, get in my face here dog and by dog I mean fish man person there we go all right actually oh dear oh boy this is actually looking like the the first time we might actually find ourselves in a situation where we could actually die. You know, in the sense that, like, you know, we're looking around here and it's all, yo, dog, look at all the, uh, look at all the monsters that are flying around. Oh. Yeah, I like, I like these fly disc things. They get the job done. Got any more discs? Okay, we're out of, we're now out of the discs. Let's see, what do we want instead? Extra speed, I think, personally. I mean, it's not like the that last run where we got like 10 bajillion, 10 bajillion and one. Boom. 10 bajillion like uh, speed increasey thingies. That was a pretty crazy run. That was an awesome run, actually, as far as I'm concerned. Oh boy. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, I can also level up again. Extra barrel of dang straight. Look at that. Look at that. What, what hope do these monstrosities have against a Tommy gun with two barrels? Or a rapid fire Tesla gun with two barrels, for that matter. Oh god, I'm green. What the heck's going on here? You're like being touched by Cthulhu for a second there. I mean, I like the faster. What in the 9,000 hells is that? Like some kind of Shogoth or something. Oh, it's a fake perk. It was like luring me in, making me think that, uh, making me think that there was something there. It was a trick, a trap. I see how it goes now. I see what you're all about. Oh, God. The, uh, eyes of Cthulhu are upon us again. That's kind of scary. All right, little extra speed right there. Always good. Is that another... Cthulhu statue that's rising up from the depths of hell. Apparently the answer to that is yes. Yes, it is. But look how powerful we are. Let's let's clear a bit of space before we actually level up. Faster shooting. The teleport, that is good. Like, don't underestimate that, but it's not what I want right now. Okay, listen, you, you can't play your mind games with me, Mr. Mind Spawn Monster Satan thing. Or maybe you can, I guess you did. Oh, and that was it. That wasn't so hard. Higher education, huh? Level eight of nine. Nice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Quests, let's take a look at these quests. Higher education, reach character level nine. Eight of nine reached, okay. All right, that's useful to know. Also, taking a look at our weapons, abilities, perks, all good stuff. We could unlock more, no doubt. Just like, let's see here. Allows Tesla to find and collect Aether crystals, that's good. Regulator, offering can be shuffled for new perk. It's a quantum condenser. I mean, there's some good stuff here, but I mean, we're nowhere close to actually picking up any of it, are we? All right, off to Dagon City. Oh, wait, do I just start off in this from now on? Really, I like that. Getting to start off every level inside the mech. Cool stuff. We'll, we'll level up, yeah, right about now. Ooh, this is a hard one. More damage or an extra, an extra barrel. I feel, and I might be wrong here, but I feel like having the extra barrel will ultimately do more damage than the extra, than the extra damage. Like 20% is good, but 20%, ooh, a Tesla shotgun, that's, that's just balling out of control here. You know, we're being blinded by science. 
which is the best kind of blinding after all. And I'd rather be blinded by science than by, I guess, ignorance, I guess. Is ignorance the opposite of science? Not necessarily. Seeing as science is not always free of ignorance, depending on if, you know, you have like good scientists or not. Sometimes, sometimes you end up with ones who are, who will post false information to fit an agenda, but then again, you know, that's kind of like a human problem rather than a, a science problem. If we're being honest with ourselves here and being like totally, totally straight. Oops. After all, science is neither good nor evil. It's just uh, what people do with their science. That's actually kind of the thing that bugs me, like as someone who, like I'm not gonna say I'm a scientist by any means, but like the people who decry science and whatnot as if it's like some kind of like evil thing, it's like, dude, science doesn't claim to have all the answers, it's trying to find answers. And part of science is like, part of good science anyway, is acknowledging when you're wrong and then adjusting your scientific theory you know, like, you have some people who are like, oh, well, you know, science said this five years ago, but now it's saying, now it's saying, like, the opposite of, of that. Well, dog, that's not because science is wrong. It's because they realized that, you know, there was, like, they had better information now. So they're able to reevaluate what they're saying. Like, uh, I mean, I think probably the big one that comes to mind right off the bat would be, like, say, global warming, you know? They don't call it global warming anymore, they call it climate change. I mean, well, you hear some people still saying global warming, but my understanding is, you know, they don't call it that anymore because people kind of got confused. It's like, oh, why are we getting colder winters if there's global warming? Science doesn't know what it's talking about. It's like, man, it's not like, you know, now we call it climate change, which, I mean, probably a better, more accurate term anyway, so that the average common layman can understand what you're talking about, which is important. I mean, like, let's be honest here. If you can't, if people don't understand what you're talking about, then they're not likely to believe you. Of course, some people choose to willfully not understand stuff. And, you know, then they just uh, confuse the issue even more by sending out crazy, contradictory information to the masses. And then where'd he end up? Also, Tesla shotgun for the win. Boom, shakalaka. All right, definitely want to keep leveling up here. But I ask myself, how do I, how do I make sure I get to level nine? Like if I want to complete this quest. And what does this quest even do for me anyway? These are the questions. Questions that probably need answering. Extra barrel, I'll oh, never barrel onto that. I mean, if this is a... Ooh, nice. If this particular run here, like if it doesn't have a, um, a Cthulhu statue, and it, you know, like the, the run just ends after killing X number of enemies, then I guess there's no way to kind of to force the issue in our favor. Oh. Which is unfortunate, but you know, that's life, man. Gotta, gotta do what you can. Also, Tesla shotgun sounds exactly like my kind of weapon. Look at that. They are melting like hot, delicious butter. You know what? I want the Tesla shotgun. It's a cool item. Just keep switching what weapon I'm using, because apparently I don't care what the weapon is, as long as, long as we're having a good time with it. Which seems good to me. That's like the way to live. All right, we're actually almost done here. And that's another level wrapped up. All right, couple more Aether Crystals. We got, oh, I love Radiator. That's an awesome perk. Off to the docks. As we slowly work our way to the infamous Arkham Asylum. I mean, that's where it's got to end, right? Like, this is Tesla versus Lovecraft, and so far we've just been like wandering around in the city and stuff. Well, obviously I'm going to start off with Radio- oh dear. 
Oh dear. Oh, this is not good. Oh, good, a Tommy gun. I mean, being able to put down more fire should hopefully give us a bit of a better chance. It's not gonna be like the be all end all, naturally, but. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, get out of there. Get out of there, gaslight. Oh, Tesla shotgun, even better. Come on, come on. All right, I better level up. That extra barrel is looking very, very, very helpful right about now. Faster shooting, I like that. There we go. Radiate a little bit of radiation there. Clear the path. Come on, come on. Man, look, look at them just melt like delicious butter. I mean, butter is delicious, but that doesn't necessarily mean you should be eating it. It's not a snack. Oh god. Oh god, yes! <laughs> there we go. Oh man. Alright, let's level up now. More speed. Speed is key after all. More speed again. Yes. Yes. Dag on, dag off. Alright. I can I can get down with that. Oh sweet baby Jesus. Oh wait, there's a nuke back here. One second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And faster shooting. Oh man, did you see that? That was good. That was really good. Look at that. Just melting them like butter. What is so great about butter anyway? Who knows? Why do I keep going on about butter? Ever good question. Alright, dag on, dag off. We got that. Spawn of Dagon. Explosive barrel. I like the sound of that. More explodination. Alright, Tesla's backpack. Okay, so we got this stuff. I assume we get this later on. Quantum condenser. Gives an additional charge to abilities. I like that. Start with a free random perk. That is pretty cool as well. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave it for now. I wanna save up my A for stuff. See what we can get. Also, I can't help but notice that the whole world is slowly falling apart here. I mean, hence the Maw of Darkness, I guess. Shouldn't be overly surprised by that. Alright. This is a very condensed level. So, we're gonna want to be very careful. I mean, if we just move in a clockward or anti-clockward direction... Oh dear. We're probably gonna be okay. Also, there is a Tommy gun, which is naturally... Naturally gonna make our lives a little bit easier. Of course, a shotgun would also make our lives easier. So would Nova. Alright, that was some good stuff right there. I think I want the extra damage versus the penetration, though... Enemy penetration might actually be the smarter play. And I might have made a big mistake there. Because after all, if we can penetrate our enemies, then that does... ...mean that we'll be able to, you know, kill more enemies with less bullets, which... ...ultimately works out in our favor, no matter how you slice the mustard. Not that you slice mustard, that would be really weird. I don't know why you would slice mustard in the first place, but if you did, that's totally not how you would do it. Okay, we're actually almost there. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, please proceed to continue exploding. Yeah, more dodging. I mean, I'm gonna follow my usual uh, standards here of why, why would I want... Why would I want more health when I could have more killing power, right? Makes life that much uh, easier. At least, that's the logic I try to operate under. If I can... Ooh, an explosive barrel. That sounds fun. I like everything about that. That is... Oh. Oh, never mind. That was like an actual active ability, not just uh, a passive ability. My mistake. Still good, though. Possibly. 
possibly still good anyway. Of course, given how uh, how tight the corridors are here, or how uh, close quarters we are, I wonder a little bit. Oh, there's actually only one enemy left, and now there are no enemies left, so we're out of here. All right, good. Nicely done. Also, if I read that right, we actually get 20% extra damage on those enemies because we have killed enough of them. They're like spider people. That's interesting. Oh, goodness gracious, what are we- what in the 9,000 hells is this? I mean, I remember them, but... Okay, regeneration is good. Okay, so they basically just set the world on fire, which is definitely what I don't want to do. I'm not a guy who wants to set the world- oh god. Who wants to set the world on fire, but I will if I have to. As- as one normally does. Okay, okay, we just kind of gently sneak around here like that. That worked out nicely. And we level up again. Bullet sharpening. Seems good to me. Oh. Oh, that's what these are. Okay. Dang it. Okay, that worked out. Though I do, I do take damage myself if I, you know, get in the way. So, there we go. Now we've got a revolver, not exactly the best weapon of all- Oh god. Not exactly the best weapon of all time, but it's not terrible either, so. Good stuff. Okay, level up again. Extra dodging. Oh, mech is ready. Okay, the only thing we gotta watch out for is the fact that these things will set us on fire. And I don't like that. Mostly because it causes us to take extra damage, and I don't want to take extra damage. Oh, also I can level up. Probably should have taken advantage of that sooner. But I didn't. As is my general mode of operation here. Shotguns, good. Man, how many millions of dollars of uh, property damage have I caused to this poor city? Fire vampires, huh? Cool. Vampires that feed on fire. I like that. Death Square. Not bad. Alright, fellas. This is it. Once again. Army of spiders. I don't know if I'd be able to do this in real life. Like, could you imagine being attacked by, like, some unholy army of, like, demonic spiders? I don't know if I'd have it in me. I would... Of course, then again, I guess if you had no choice. You know, it's either fight the demon spiders or you get eaten by the demonic spiders. I guess I could probably do it then, but otherwise, you know, I don't think I've got what it takes to be the, you know, the awesome hero that Nikola Tesla here is. Now, he's the hero this city needs, but it's, or the one, the hero the city deserves, but not the one it needs right now or something. Uh, yeah, extra speed. Because like I said, I prefer killing my enemies faster rather than relying, relying on just being able to survive longer. Also, Tesla gun, always a winning combination, no matter how you cut the mustard on that one. You know what, if the mech had... Actually, wait, why does the mech fire? It just fires, like, death. I can get behind that, honestly. Yes, it's a light show, really. A light show of spectacular, spectacularness, I guess. If you want to look at it that way. Poly murderness, murderness, murderous, whatever the word I'm looking for is. There we go. And level up again. Let's go up the faster teleport. Radiator, good, because, but we're not, we're not playing a level right now where we're actually in any real danger of getting overwhelmed. I have to imagine that's what harder difficulty modes are going to be for. And trust me, there's going to be harder difficulty modes. If the alpha is any indication. Ooh, the Theseus Paradox. I like that. Alright, so if I understand that, yeah. Yeah, look at that. We've got all these, like, cool extra... Extra Teslas who are going around shooting stuff. Which is cool. 
getting in those extra sweet time paradox kills. Wow, that was fast. Wait, it wasn't actually as fast. We're actually 20 minutes in. Gauss shotgun, nice. And I'm gonna keep going until we get to the next boss. That's my general... That's my general feeling here is that, like, even if these episodes end up being a little bit longer than what we normally do, we're gonna want to keep fighting. Fighting on until... we have... you know, something new and exciting, like a boss, to fight. It feels like the right course of action, to be honest with you. And kind of creates a nice, uh, a nice divide here where we've, uh, oh dear. Oh god. Now they're killing me again. Or at least they're trying to. But what they didn't, they didn't anticipate here, oh dear, was having to face Tesla himself. Naturally, naturally, bullet sharpening. That is... <laughs> look at this, look at this, this is just ridiculous. We are balling out of control. Nothing of this earth could possibly stop us. Which I guess makes sense because these things are not of this earth, but you know. Through them, we'll just kind of ignore their, their, their shenanigans. Alright, we can go mech on these guys. I'll totally do that. Alright, what do we got up here? XP doubler again. That's good. More levels are better than less levels, after all. It's just giant frogmen and slug tentacle monsters. I am not impressed. Not impressed by their feeble efforts to stop the mighty Nikola Tesla. They have no hope. No chance whatsoever, do they? Faster shooting. Shoot faster, kill faster. Look at that. See? Easy as pie. Nothing to worry about. Just exploding. For the sake of exploding, and don't forget those delicious fire bullets. Gets the job done all the faster. Nice. Alright, I'll take that. Look at that, look at that. What hope do they have? I mean, they're, they're trying. God bless them, they're trying. But... They... Don't... Really stand a chance. Also, I'm trying to think to myself here. Like... Am I, am I supposed to... Like, I never really thought about this until just now, but am I supposed to look at... Lovecraft is the bad guy of this game. Like, is he the villain? Or is... it Was he, this whole time, just trying to warn us about, you know, the unholy eldritch abominations that are waiting for us out there in the dark? I actually feel kind of silly for having never really thought about that. I mean, I guess it's not even. Tess... Or, Lovecraft's not a bad guy. I mean, all his work was written about, uh... basically warning us about those horrifying horrible eldritch abominations, so... Yeah. Oh, I wonder if that's what co-op is. It's, uh, Tesla and Lovecraft fighting together. It, this is basically what Batman versus Superman should have been. I'm never gonna let that go, by the way. For anyone who's been on the channel for a while, I'm never gonna let go of the fact that Batman v Superman was one of the greatest disappointments of my life. Well, you know, as like a movie fan and a comic book fan and just a, a fan of like good storytelling. I mean, I guess that, that might be a little harsh. I mean, it's not like, it's not like Batman versus Superman was like some kind of abomination or anything. But, it, uh, I don't know. It was the kind of film where it had like, you could see the potential, but... It didn't, it didn't get there. It didn't actually, like, live up to what it could have been. I think ricocheting bullets might have actually been better there. But we'll let them go for now. Mostly because we can. Not necessarily because it's a smart idea. Anyway, yeah. I don't know. Of course, I have to admit to my own, uh... My own prejudices. For me, the fact that... Batman vs. Superman wasn't basically like, you know, the old DC animated series from the 90s, except in like live action form. Probably, you know, caused me to look at it a little bit more harshly than it may have deserved. But on the other hand, eh, I don't know. I mean, it's a it's been discussed by, you know, people far more like suited than me, but 
you know, like the whole like what DC has done with its with its cinematic universe versus Marvel, for instance. Like I don't even think that uh, DC's movies are necessarily terrible, but a lot of them, they just like they feel like wasted potential. Not that not that uh, you know we're really interested in talking about stuff like that when we're in the middle of this glorious fight here of Tesla versus Lovecraft, the greatest scientist of all time versus the greatest horror writer of all time. Pretty good stuff. This should be a movie, actually, now that I think about it. Make a heck of a movie. You know what? I, I bet there's probably a movie somewhere. Someone has made this movie combining Tesla and Lovecraft. It's out there. I just haven't found it yet. That's totally the case. I would be willing to put money on that. Oh yeah, I've got my lightning sword. Should probably, probably take advantage of that. Is that it? I guess it is it. Okay, just a few more of those. There's just one more. Oh, hello. He's done. He's gone. Beautifully done. Good old Tesla. Static cloud, more power. Exactly what we want. The Lord of Arkham. This sounds like another boss fight. Perfect place to wrap things up. Yes, the stars are gonna align soon. Alright. This is what we are waiting for. So, basically, all we want to do now is just level up as much as we can before the boss shows up and then kill the boss. And in doing so, in doing so, free at least this part of the town from the horrible Eldritch Madness. Of course, I guess, like, if I want to start guessing, like, the story of this game, is it that Tesla's, Tesla's uh, invention here of free unlimited power, did he, like, tap into some kind of hellish abomination Eldritch, like, dimension or something? Is that what's going on here? Tesla has looked into things and seen things that mankind was not meant to know. But then again, I mean, that's that's kind of what, uh, that's what life's all about, isn't it? Defying the natural order, the quote-unquote natural order. I actually kind of hate when people are like, oh, this is going against the natural order. I mean, for similar reasons to why I hate when people misrepresent science. You know. Science is not like a, a one-size-fits-all answer. It's a, it's a continuing dialogue and a continuing an infinite series of questions that one must ask themselves. At least that's what I think, anyway. There's never one true answer in science. Well, I guess that's actually also kind of not right, is it? But in most uh, cases when it comes to science, like, you know, like, what is right is it's going to change as new information becomes available. And we, we can't be, oh, good God, an elder plawlet. Uh, faster shooting. Let's kill it faster. Okay. Oh god, where did my... Where did my guns go? And by guns, I mean I thought I had more power than this. But I was mistaken, clearly. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That was kind of useless in this, uh... Alright. Okay, where'd the Elder Paul... Okay. Gotta get into my super gun thing here. Ah. Okay, okay. It's where we gotta be careful. Yeah, because look at that. He's got like all these crazy powers. He's like also sucking me into his vortex of doom. We don't want to get involved with that. I mean, vortexes of doom are not to be trifled with. Okay, where, where'd the polyp go? Okay, just stay out of his range and he can't hurt me. I mean, he can, probably. Oh, he's dead. Good. Yay! Elder polyp is gone. Victory has been achieved. And with that, we wrap up another episode of Tesla vs. Lovecraft. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I'll see all you in the next video.